a short seated Tai Chi series based on the first section of the Yang family long form. We'll start with raised hands, or rather the commencement. I'm going to think of reaching out through the fingertips, but relaxing and sinking the shoulders. And at the same time, I'm going to press down into the floor gently with the feet. Try to feel that the arms and legs are connected through the torso. Reach out through the fingertips, sink and soften the shoulder, then bend the elbow, let the hands sink down, and feel a little heavy as they come down. Let the breath sink down and fill the lower abdomen. And keep the head lifted so that the chin is slightly dropped and the back feels long, lengthened, and a little bit round. And that the weight of the body feels like it's sitting in the feet, not just on the chair. We may have to feel as if we're slightly tipped forward. And then we'll round the arms as if we're catching a big beach ball. And turning to one side from the waist, I'm going to let that palm turn towards me a little bit, the other palm turn slightly down, and come back to the center. Turn to the other side, palm turning towards me, the other palm pressing slightly back and down. The arms open as I twist to the side, and come back together slightly. I come to the front. And now I'm going to lift, point up to the side, shoulders turn slightly and I feel a little twist in the upper body, and come back through the center and lift and point to the other side. The arm that's further out is palm up, the other palm is down. And again, I'm going to reach up through the fingertips, but relax and sink the shoulders. I can think of the eyes guiding the movement, looking up to the corner. And come back to the center. Now I'm going to bring one hand across the body to gently press the inside of the other arm. And I'm going to push a little bit to the side. Again, feel a twist through the upper body. Change hands, press the inside of the arm, push to the side, feel that twist right across the shoulder blades and right through the center of the chest. Change hands, it's really just the heel of the hand that rests inside the arm or just above the wrist. Push a little to the side, you want to feel the movement sort of squeezing that side of the chest gently. Change sides. Press and push to the other side. Then I'm going to press both hands down and forward, and then row back like rowing a boat. As I press the hands down, try to feel the feet firm on the floor. Press down, push forward. If I want to make the movement a little more complicated, and turn the palms a little bit out as they start to row back. Then press down towards the floor and forward. Palms turn slightly out, they turn down, pressing down and forward. Shoulders sinking, the elbow stays a little soft. Press down and push forward. Now I'm going to separate the two arms, turning my head towards one side. And come back to the center. As I open and stretch the chest gently, try not to squeeze the shoulder blades together, keeping the back open a little round as well. Give a gentle stretch to the chest and the front of the shoulder, turning my head to follow one hand and then the other. Keep the feet firm on the floor. Again, if I want to make this exercise just a little bit more complex, I can drop the fingers of one hand into a hook. Back to the center, change hands, and I watch the open hand. Now I'm going to bring the hands down through the center, open the arms up in a big circle, 
and then turn to one side, pointing the fingers to one side. And back to the center, open the arms up in that big circle again. And then the fingertips will point to the other side as they come down. Looking up through the center, looking to one side, bring the hands down on that side, pointing. And pointing to the other side. Now I'm going to come back to the center, place the hands on the legs, fingers pointing in, elbows out. Make sure the feet are planted, perhaps lean slightly forward to get the weight into the legs. Now I'm going to press with one arm, lean and twist a little bit to the side. Come back to the center, press with the other arm, lean and twist. Push, lean, and twist. Push, lean, and twist. Feel that twist again in the upper body. You should reach down a little bit to the lower back. So I'm trying to roll that twist down from the base of the head through the spine. I'm going to bring one hand up overhead. Press that hand up, press the other hand down into the leg. Gently turn the head. Change hands. Push up and down. Turn the head to the other side. Change hands. Press equally with both hands. Change hands and press. Now I'm going to push one hand across the body. Other hand pushes down towards the floor gently. Again, when I push the hand out away from the body, try to relax and sink the shoulder into the body. Press out, sink the shoulder, feel a little twist. Now more down in the rib area, just above the waist. Again, the feet are planted firmly. The head is lifted gently, so the chin drops. And the neck and upper back feel a little bit lifted. Now I'm going to pull one hand back and reach the other hand forward, like coiling up a rope. The lower hand reaches forward, the upper hand draws back. I want to try to feel the arms connected to one another and connected to the ribs, as if pulling one hand back helps push the other hand forward. I'm going to use the same feeling in punching. I'm going to punch one hand forward, clench the hands, pull back, punch the other hand forward, and pull back. Clench lightly and then relax. Clench lightly and relax. The feeling of one hand pulling back to help push the other hand forward. I draw the elbow in close to the ribs as we pull one hand back and then the other. Now I'm going to cross the arms, lift them up, turn the palms out, open the arms, cross, lift, turn out, and down. One more time, I'm going to cross the arms. This time I'm going to drop the hands in, let the hands sink down towards the floor and finish the way I started. Lift the arms, reach the fingertips out, soften the shoulder and elbow. Let the hands press down. And that's short Taiji series based on the first part of the classical 